And this is my personality. On behalf of PitchSavvy.com, my name is Keisha, and I'm here with Miss Sunny Couture. Hi, I'm Sunny Couture. Modeling is something that I didn't grow up um, wanting to become. It wasn't like a teenage dream of mine, but after I graduated from college, I decided to give, my, give a gift to myself. It was either gonna be a luxurious vacation or a photo shoot, and I didn't have <laughs> a lot of money or any place to go for a vacation, so I went to a local studio and did um, a photo shoot. It's called a model package, and I had my own stylist. I had my own um, model coach and everything like that, and I just loved the experience, and I really liked how my photos came out, so I decided to pursue it more seriously from that point. Wow. And I have another question for you, Sunny. How long have you been modeling? I have been modeling for a little over three years now. Three years, mm -hmm. and you've done a lot in three years. Yeah, it's not a very long time, but um, I'm 26 years old, so technically I started late. I started modeling when I was about 23. So, you know, I figured if I'm gonna start this late in the game, I gotta, you know, take off and start running. So I've been just doing it ever since that point. Okay. Well, what is your most memorable modeling moment? Um, my most memorable modeling moment had to be when I saw myself on the cover of an international magazine. Oh, wow. That had to be the most memorable moment. Um, I um, reached out and started networking with a magazine in Nigeria and they, um, I just asked them if they wanted to collaborate with me and they said yes and I was surprised and I couldn't believe it wow. um, because uh, I experienced a lot of rejection as far as magazines and editorials um, in Michigan so I decided to try to network on a larger scale but I didn't think that they would actually want to work with me but they did and we talked and I sent them some photos and we did a lot of editing and things like that and they sent me the link to the to the magazine and I, when I opened it up I just saw my picture and I saw the magazine it was Zen magazine in Nigeria and I stared at it for about an hour because wow, I, I couldn't believe it so to be on an international magazine as an unsigned model was the most memorable most exciting model moment that I can remember that is an awesome story Sonny. if someone could grant you your wildest modeling dream what would you ask for oh <laughs> um, <laughs> If someone can grant me my wildest modeling dream, I would have to say if someone would contact me and say, we would like you to be on the cover of Essence Magazine. And do a whole spread in there and be on the cover of Essence Magazine. That is, that would be a dream that I would love to see happen. I'm working on it. Okay. But I, that would be like one of my biggest dreams right now. The thing is technology allows you to um, just break outside of, of barriers a lot. Um, technology is able to take you places that you that that you've never seen. I mean, just from editing, just from photo manipulation, just from um, online portfolios, and being able to create your own website so that you can be exposed on a global scale. It just breaks down a lot of walls, a lot of barriers, and it allows you to um, see the world in in a way that you never thought you would have. So it's almost like you can see the world from your house or see the world from your room, yeah. and have everyone else see you everywhere else around the world. Like I've, I've networked with people from the Netherlands, Italy, um, Africa, uh, China, all because of technology. Wow. So it's limitless, basically. That's awesome. Uh, tell me about your Four Nations project. My Four Nations project, first of all, was greatly helped by technology. It's a great example of what technology can do. It was a project based on a cartoon series called Avatar, um, and a movie was later created from that cartoon series it was called last airbender okay. and um, i was just amazed at just the concept of the series and the movie so i decided to revamp it and make a fashion shoot out of it and i had the goal of releasing that project before the movie was released so while i was shooting in puerto rico i sketched up the whole shoot i sketched up all of my looks i put my team together and when i landed i started shooting it it took about eight weeks to shoot, and um, I directed and produced it. I dressed myself for it, and I worked with one designer, Dana Keaton of Dana Keaton Collections. And it, it is the most proud. I'm the most proud of that project because it's the first project that I created and directed and produced. It's the first time that I worked with such a large collaborative team on a global scale. I work with a lot of artists here and a lot of artists in other countries, and the editing 
And that's why technology is such a fascinating thing because I was able to shoot on a white background and I sent it to an editor in um, Italy and she was able to take what I shot in that project and create waterfalls, create fiery backgrounds, create desert scenes. Everything that I wanted to portray in that project was able to be brought to life with technology. And so, you know, to work so hard and to have it manifest the way it did and get the reviews that it did was amazing, especially because a lot of people told me that that idea was stupid. A lot of people said that that wouldn't make any sense, but it, it turned out to be exactly the opposite. It was an amazing project and I'm just happy to have made all of the connections that I did while working on that. Wow, that's great. Miss Worldwide <laughs> Woman. Okay, tell me something about that. How did you come along with that, that tagline? How were you inspired? Um, when I first started modeling, I, I didn't want to limit myself. Um, so Beyonce had this song at the time that I had just uh, stumbled upon while going on the internet, technology again. Right. But she has a song called Worldwide Woman. And basically the song is just talking about, you know, wherever you look for me on the internet, just type in a website, you'll see me there. No area codes can limit me. No websites can limit me, limit me wherever you look, I'll be there. So I just started tagging myself as a worldwide woman because in a way, I wanted to already claim the fact that I'm gonna go farther than Detroit, I'm gonna go farther than Michigan, I'm gonna go farther than the US. And because of that, I was able to shoot out of the country, I was able to network with artists in other countries, I was able to, I'm a, you know, able to say that I'm a cover girl for a magazine in right. Africa. So now the name that I have endorsed for so long is finally manifesting as something realistic to me because now I am worldwide. And I'm very proud to say that I am a worldwide woman. Uh, I'm very proud, proud. For you, say. I'm proud for you. Um, you have any new projects coming up? Um, I have a couple of things coming up that I'm working on right now. Um, I'm working on traveling soon um, to Arizona to shoot with some photographers down there. But I'm also working on a couple of specific photo shoot projects. I really love working with new talent. So and working with kids. Um, I have I've had the opportunity of working with a lot of youth designers, age 12 to 16. So I want to work with them more and spotlight their creativity and have them have the experience of having a model shoot in their clothes and get professional pictures so that they can start their own portfolio. And I'm also going to start working with new um, young designers in the city of Detroit, highlighting just new oncoming designing talent, working with a lot of new media talent um, as far as TV and production and radio. So yeah, I have a lot of things coming up in the next couple of weeks. Oh, I bet it. Girl, you just moving along, aren't you? Just <laughs> yeah. moving right along. <laughs> Many don't know that you are an unsigned model. Do you think technology will enable, will able take you to where you're trying to go? Um, yes, um, because a lot of people who have connected with me saw my portfolio online. They either saw it on uh, modeling websites or they saw most of my work on Facebook. If it wasn't for those um, social networks, I probably would not be as exposed and have the status that I have right now because most people know me from Facebook or they know me from Model Mayhem. So technology has been able to have me exposed in a way that I don't have to necessarily go and try to go to agencies and go to go sees and things like that, especially because it's a lot tougher for a model my age and of my body type to walk into an agency with a 100% confidence of being accepted. So now I'm able to showcase my talent to the world and if they want to work with me, they can connect with me. That is awesome. You go girl. Okay, you go girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, how can one contact you if if they would like to collaborate with you? Um, well, I'm on every social network there is. Okay. Um, you can look me up on Facebook, Sunny Couture. My last name is Tooks, T-O-O-K-E-S. I'm also on Twitter, at Sunny Couture. Um, and my email address is Sunny underscore Couture at Yahoo.com. So you can contact me on any one of those um, networks and the Simulon, if you wanna work, we can talk. We can have a meeting and we can create some art because that's what I'm all about. All right, Sonny. Well, I have one more question for you. You know you're a busy lady worldwide. <laughs> on the so would you like to share anything else with us today? Um, yeah. 
Okay, well, go right in. Um, first of all, I just want to really thank PitchSavvy.com um, for reaching out to me and wanting to work with me. Um, again, I love working with new talent. I love working with new people. So I'm really grateful for this opportunity. Um, and I just want to just tell anybody, you know, if you have a dream, go for it. You know, don't listen to what people say about how crazy it may seem or what you can't do or what doesn't make any sense because most of the time those ideas that don't make any sense prove to be the greatest projects of all time. So, you know, just have supportive people in your corner and, you know, just go with your gut, go with your intuition, claim, you know, what you want as if you already have it because you're the only limit. You can only limit yourself. So, I just I'm just really appreciative of everyone that I've had a chance of working with, all of the kids that I've had a chance of working with, you, because you know I work with you. Hey! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but that's pretty much it. Just go for it. Whatever you want to do, go for it and don't limit yourself. Thank you so much, Sonny. Thank you. We really appreciate you. On behalf of PitchSavvy.com, my name is Keisha Armstrong, and we're going to sign off with Miss Sonny Couture. Bye!